टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू क्लासीफाई पॉलीमर्स सो सो नाउ फर्स्ट वी क्लासीफाई पॉलीमर ऑन द बेस ऑफ ऑन द बेस ऑफ देयर सोर्स क्लियर सो द फर्स्ट वन इज नेचुरल पॉलीमर्स एज द नेम इंडिकेट नेचुरल पॉलीमर्स और और बायो पॉलीमर्स सो आई वॉन्ट टू रिपीट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू क्लासीफाई पॉलीमर्स ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ देयर सोर्स सो द फर्स्ट क्लास द फर्स्ट क्लास इज नेचुरल पॉलीमर्स और बायो पॉलीमर्स so the definition of the natural polymers are biopolymers is that those polymers which are obtained from the nature or those polymers which are obtained by the biological things or those polymers which are obtained from plants and animals so those those polymer which are obtained from plants and animals directly is known as what natural or biological pro natural or biological polymers so for example this is an animal that is human being for example and this is a plant so now if you think what type of polymer are obtaining from plants that is number 1 you know most of the portion of the plant is made up of cellulose clear so the polymer which are obtained from the plants is mostly cellulose and you also know that cellulose is made up of monomer small constituent units that is glucose so cellulose is a polymer of of what of glucose so cellulose is a polymer and natural polymer and we obtain cellulose from the plants directly so cellulose is composed of what of glucose okay the other thing which are obtained from the plants is rubber we obtained rubber from the plants directly so it is com it is composed of rubber is polymer and natural polymer and we obtain it from the plants directly and it is composed of monomer that is what isoprene isoprene we will discuss the different pathway in different ways that how polymer is made and we will discuss their the the structure of the polymer as well as the structure of the monomers clear and the way uh, and the way of uh, attaching the and the way of binding clear so now if concentrate here this is an animal or this is a human being so you know know that the human being is composed of the first one is protein protein so we call we also call protein is poly poly peptide poly peptide so protein is also called poly peptide so poly peptide means poly mean many poly means many and peptide means peptide is actually the bond where two amino acid combine it is the bond where two amino acids combine and form a bond by condensation by by the by the condensation mechanism clear so it is the bond between two amino acids actually so protein is actually a polymer of amino acids and amino the, the long chain of amino acids is also called polypeptide chain that is protein the second thing of which the animal are made is carbohydrates as carbohydrates so you know that 
in human beings in human beings the carbohydrates are stored in the form of what in the form of glycogen in the form of glycogen so glycogen is the polymer of what of glucose so other thing that is that is uh, involved in the composition of animal or uh, animal or human beings is nucleic acid nucleic acids or dna dna or rna so dna and rna is actually polymer of nucleotides clear so that is about natural polymers so natural polymers are those polymers which are obtained from plants or animals directly and we use it directly so these are some examples of natural polymers so now we are going to discuss take a screenshot okay so now we are going to discuss uh, the classification uh, on the or other we, we discuss other group of the polymer on the base of that is on the base of source that is natural polymer the other class is semi synthetic polymer semi synthetic second class semi synthetic here the word semi means partially partially or modification modification so semi synthetic polymers are those polymers which are not directly obtained from the plants or animals but these are these are obtained these are obtained by some efforts some efforts that is not a lot but small efforts for example this is a polymer and when we get it from plants or animal then we modify it and transfer it into this form for example so this and this you know that there is a small difference between them so semi synthetic polymers are those polymers which are obtained by small modification by partially mod modification in natural polymers clear so when we take when we take small modification in natural polymers we obtained semi synthetic polymers for example this is a rubber which are obtained from plant directly so what we do here we uh, we we treat rubber with sulfur in the presence of heat so what happened so for example this is the chains of rubber clear so when we when we uh, add s2 means sulfur exist in s8 form or uh, s6 form clear or s4 form clear so what happened sulfur from sulfur form cross linking here this is the cross linking of sulfur so such type of polymer which are obtained by the modification in natural polymers are called semi synthetic polymer clear for example this is a cellulose cello for example this is a cellulose we treat it with the hno3 and convert it into nitro cellulose so nitrocellulose is actually semi 
synthetic polymer so semi synthetic polymers are those polymers which are obtained by the modification in natural polymers are so clear so the next the next is so note down okay so the next is synthetic polymers next is synthetic polymers synthetic polymers so synthetic polymers are those polymers which are artificially obtained which are obtained by working of human beings clear so such type of polymer exists in this nature in the monomer form for example this is ethylene when we add n molecules of ethylene they form polyethylene they form poly ethylenes clear for example this is the n molecules n units of polyvinyl chloride for example this is a n molecules of vinyl chloride this is vinyl chloride so we obtained poly vinyl chlorides poly vinyl chlorides for example if we treat poly or many molecules of acrylo nitrile this is cyanide group so we obtained poly acrylo nitriles poly acrylo nitrile clear there is so many examples other for example polyester nylon backlight clear poly ester poly ester nylon backlight backlight and so many other clear so or sometime we call polyphenyl resin polyphenyl resin so summary is that the when we classify polymer on the base of source so the first one is natural polymers so natural polymers are those polymer which are obtained from the living organism clear directly so uh, dna rna as well as carbohydrates just like glycogen as lipids clear and uh, as well as protein and uh, as well as cellulose rubber these are the examples of natural polymers semi synthetic polymers semi synthetic polymers are those polymers those polymers which are obtained by the modification in natural polymers for example nitrocellulose vulcanized rubber vulcanized vulcanized rubber is what vulcanized rubber is also the one type is rubber the other type vulcanized rubber when we add sulfur in them when we add sulfur in the rubber natural rubber we obtained vulcanized rubber so the other other classification is as what the other class is synthetic synthetic polymer the synthetic polymer are those those polymers which are obtained artificially clear so human beings works to combine their monomers just like polyethylene sorry ethylene ethyl chloride ethyl chloride not ethyl chloride but that is ethyl chloride clear or uh, shortly we call it vinyl chloride this is vinyl cyanide or acrylonitrile so other examples 
polyester these are the example of of what of synthetic polymer so in the next lecture we will discuss another classification so okay